Just as you can link data between worksheets in a workbook, you can also link data between workbooks. You can link data between workbooks by creating an external reference, which can also be referred to as a link. An external reference is a reference to a cell, cell range, or defined name on a worksheet in another Excel workbook. To create an external reference, you must have both the destination and the source workbooks open. Notice that on my screen I have a workbook called Monthly Sales opened. Here I'm going to be pulling in January, February, March total sales for my sales reps. This is my destination workbook. Now my source workbook is called sales rep and this workbook has four tabs January, February, March and sales by rep. And if I go to my sales by rep tab, notice that here I have my January totals for my sales reps. And I'm going to pull this information into my destination workbook. So let me go back to the destination and let's start an external reference. I'll go ahead and set my cursor in the cell where I want my first external reference to exist. This would be B5. Then start this off as a formula by typing in an equal sign. And then let's go to our source workbook, which is sales rep. I'll go ahead and select that. And here I want to pull in my January totals for Jason Smith. I'll go ahead and click on that cell and then press enter. This will cause that cell or an external reference to be created between this cell in our destination workbook and the source data over here in our source workbook for Jason Smith. Now let's take a quick look at the reference or the syntax that is created up here in the formula bar for this external reference. Notice that the first part of this formula references the sales rep worksheet and then it references what worksheet the data resides on and then finally it references which cell you are pulling the data from. And this is how you create an external reference to another workbook. Let's go ahead and apply this to our project. Open up two new files. They are 0911 start under slash A file and 0911 start under slash B file. You will find both of these files in your Excel 2007 directory in the Chapter 9 directory. Let's look first at 0911 start under slash A file. This will be our source workbook and what we're going to do is pull in the weekly sales for all the products within column D. Now notice that this might look a little bit different to what we've developed up to the past for our product list. I have changed the starting inventory to 75 and I have also developed the worksheet farther by adding week 1, week 2, week 3, for and current inventory. Now our source workbook will be 0911 start under slash B file and here on a weekly basis we have recorded the quantity sold for our Raspberry Brigade company. So we're going to pull this column into our 0911 start under slash A file or destination worksheet for week one. So let's do that. What I'd like you to do is on your product list tab of the 0911 start under slash A file, please go ahead and select cell D4, which is the week one total for Appalicious Muffins. Let's start this off with an equal sign and then switch to your source workbook. And what we want to do is select B8 for Appalicious Muffin. Go ahead and click that cell and then press enter on your keyboard. Notice that this tallies up our product total for Appalicious Muffins for week 1 of 23. Then I can go ahead and pull this formula all the way down to the bottom and notice that 23 is filled all the way for all the products. Now the reason why it's doing that and not calculating what each individual products total is has to do with this external reference that we created up here in our formula bar. Notice the cell this reference is referring to on our source workbook is in an absolute reference. We want to change that 
to a relative reference so that it will relatively calculate each of the individual cells that we're pulling in from our source workbook. To do that, highlight this absolute reference of B8, and then with that highlighted, press F4 on your keyboard until you cycle around to a relative reference. Go ahead and press Enter, and then let's calculate that all the way down to the very bottom of our worksheet. And notice that here are our correct totals. We've just pulled them in. Let's do this again for week two. So go ahead and set your cursor in E4 and start this off as a formula by typing in an equal sign and then switch over to your source workbook. Select that and let's now choose our week two tab and choose B8 here under quantity. Select that and again press enter to record that data. Notice that it is an absolute reference so highlight the absolute reference here in the formula bar and again press F4 to cycle through until you see the relative reference. Press enter to enter that formula and then go ahead and copy that or fill that all the way down to the bottom. Repeat this process for our remaining weeks and then move on to the next movie.